What is up you guys, my name is Kash and today I'm gonna show you a little instructional video about After Sky 2016 for FSX Steam Edition and for FSX and Prepare. Um, a couple months ago I was installing Active Sky 2016 after installing it countless different times well with Active Sky Next which didn't really have much issue and when trying to install Active Sky 2016 as you see it's installed perfectly right now but um, during the installation at the end of the installation it told me that it could not um, install Active Sky Connect now there is an ignore feature button on that install so I click ignore and every time I open the Active Sky it would tell me that it could not install Active Sky or Active Sky Connect AS Connect is needed and you would need to install it so when I clicked install thinking that it would have installed it told me that it could not install and you need to install it manually alright now this is what I'm gonna show you how to do how to install AS Connect manually. Alright, so now we're going to be pulling up the the entire process and everything that you need right now. First off, you need to locate your Active Sky folder which is in local disk, program files, x86 for me because I'm using a 64 bit machine. And you go to Hi Fi and Active Sky 2016 or AS 2016 underscore FSX. Now, there is a very, there's one folder that you need to move plus a bunch of effects files. This is the folder right here. Usually, when you install Active Sky for the Active Sky users, you notice that when you install Active Sky, this folder is transferred here. Now, during the installation, when it does not install Active Sky Connect or AS Connect, this folder is not installed into your FSX or FSX Steam Edition or prepared. Now what you do is you copy this folder right here into Active Sky well into your FSX folder, sorry, not Active Sky, that would be stupid. Um, once you got it in once you got it copied to your FSX, then you copy all these these effects files down all the way down. These are the cloud effects the cloud motion effects for Active Sky and FSX. So what you do is you copy these to your effects folder which is here in your FSX and as you may notice I do have it installed because I yeah there it is right here kind of blind but um, I do have it installed right here and I don't really need to place it back but this is basically a go-to fix. There is nothing else so far because I did contact Active Sky, the, the makers of Active Sky, and they did not really help me out much. Um, I went on the forums, I searched all over for it, and it was a very simple fix. Now, once you got this set up, all you do is you open your Active Sky in, um, 2016 right now. Uh, once it is it's open, you will not be getting that um, Active Sky Connect install error or any of these things. So you will have a perfectly running Active Sky 2016 for your FSX. You just open your FSX and you let Active Sky do its thing. So if you all found this video informative and if you all found this video, if you all found this video to be informative i would like you all to leave a like comment and subscribe on this video um as to me making more videos of this because i noticed that there are a lot of things that need to be fixed. there are a lot of things that needs to be fixed in fsx installers and most of the times we don't have much people who knows how to deal with it and well, most of the time we do and they don't share it. So right now I'm sharing this with you. Please feel free to share this anywhere and let's get this thing we can find. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I do hope that you, I, I can get to meet you all next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.